Hey everyone, it's Mr. Money. Wong. I'm back again today. We're gonna talk a little bit about rape and kidnapping. And some of you out there have a little bit of problem. I have my friend here, Rolanda here. Can you remind me what's your name again? Yolanda. Yolanda. And you can see she come in all the time. She's very pretty. That's why she's in my channel. If you're not out there, not in my channel because you're so ugly. And we have all these pretty people here because we have yeah. a pretty people like Dr. John here and Roger. And what's your name again? Man. <laughs> Grizzly, Grizzly, Sap. Okay then. So today we're talking about a little bit about the um, rape and kidnap and stuff like that. So, Doctor John, can you explain to the viewer a little bit how dangerous this kind of thing is and what girl like Rowanna here can able to prevent herself? Because she's acting, she do a lot of different things like that, and a lot of people see her. Mm -hmm. And how she can prevent this happen to her if she get some, you know, some dirty bastard. You know what I mean? For me, different. If you hang around me, anybody come along, I bust them up. Mm -hmm. But sometimes she's on her own. It's difficult. I understand. So. I would say, you know, this day and age we have our phones on us, not at the moment, but I have my phone on me and I have my headphones in. Now automatically the faculty of attention, you know, it's, it's, it's really important because my eyes are on here, I'm texting whoever, so I've, my hands are occupied and I'm listening to Spotify or whatever it is kids listen to these days. So um, I don't even know what a Snapchat is. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'm on here, okay, I'm walking around, I'm walking around and suddenly I'm jumped and someone takes my stuff or takes you away and everything. That's not where you want to be because you have two hands, two legs, you've got two eyes and you can, you've got two ears and you can hear everything. But we are occupying it with, you know, with um, our headphones, where our, you know, our phones, you know, we're just like texting. Oh mate, did you see the game last night? You see what I mean? So we are so occupied that it takes our attention away from what is actually happening. Now, as soon as it takes, we could be the most accomplished martial artist. However, if we are not aware of where we're even going, it's like, um, I would say most car accidents happen because the um, driver didn't have his eyes on the road. You know, mm. you lose that momentarily, um, you, you lose that attention momentarily. What happens is an accident could happen, you know, and that's just an accident. If it's an attack, if I'm looking at you, I'm looking at how your hair is tied back, what kind of clothes you're wearing, um, is it easy for me to pull? Um, you know, and it's like, um, how easy is it for me to overpower you? Subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the bell. When I upload a video, you will get the notification straight to your mobile. Now get back to your training. So having your, you know, it's like, just if you just keep your body language like this, you know, keep your eyes about you and you're actually looking where you're going. It's like if it's a sharp corner, when you drive, if it's a sharp corner, you come out and in. When I'm walking, I do the same thing. So, Rana here, can you walk for me to see you're confident enough to able to have a quick, like, little bit of walk up, long walk up there. Just have a walk, walk that. Okay, come back here. What do you reckon? Is that walk? Is, it, is, she, is, she, is she the target? Okay, right. Close your eyes. Okay. How many guys did you just walk past? Five. Okay. Can you describe them? Yes. <laughs> Can you? Because I've been with them all day. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, most people can't. It's like if I, as soon as I go into any kind of establishment, I like to see where the exits are, what kind of people are there. But that's 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 me. That's part of my training. Mm -hmm. I like to see. Um, what the decor is, what the furniture is like. I like to see how I can get out of a place quickly. If this nightclub has two exits, I want to know about it. Okay. Or if I'm if I'm looking at you, for instance, you know, the first thing I'm thinking of is um, if I'm the attacker, I'm looking at you. I'm thinking about where I can take you, where I can drag you. And if it's premeditated, I've already prepared that. I've already prepared where I'm going to go. So if you are if you are completely unaware of that, it makes it so much easier for me, the attacker. If you are walking around, you know, keeping your eyes about you, you know what, immediately as the attacker, I'm going to think, okay, yep, she might have her head switched on, on to the next person. Because there are so many more vulnerable people out there, you know, like, like, like this guy. Okay. So, <laughs> Not quite as attractive, <laughs> but he'll do. You see what I mean? No. The problem is, body part is still useful. Mm. So at least they can sell this some dog out there to eat. So it'd be quite good. Got plenty, yeah? <laughs> to them. So for you, maybe different. So again, carry on. So what I would always say is awareness, awareness, awareness is so important, okay? Now it's like um, you might, uh, have you ever traveled uh, from, you know, home to work? And then as soon as you get to work, you're like, I actually don't remember the journey. Yeah, it, a lot. Yeah, it's part of the mm. habituation hypothesis. So what, what happens is we just switch off. We go on to autopilot. Mm. And then as soon as we're there, we're like, hell, you know, or it's like time flies by when you're having fun or when you are just you sat down, you're just on your computer typing away. Time flies by so quickly. Time tra uh, like happens 
you know, one second at a time. But the way we interpret time is always different. You know, if it's a new experience, it's like if I've never been in a swimming pool before, oh man, you know, this is you know, a whole hour, I'm gonna feel that. If I swim all the time, easy. It's like if I do a leg session with you, man, that's gonna kill me. You know, I'm, I'm gonna feel every single rep. Mm -hmm. But if I've done it, if I've trained with you a while, you know, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be more used to it. You see what I mean? So how we interpret time is always different. So that's important to know that when we are walking around, it's like I'm walking to this uh, bar that I go to every night, every Friday or something. I walk around. Now I've done all of this so many times that I don't even need to think about it. I know that there's a, you know, I know that there's a lamppost here, whatever. Mm -mm. So fine, what, what are the dangers? Headphones in, on my phone. Okay, and it only takes one person to change all of that, one attacker to change all of that. And it's because we didn't have our eyes on where we were going. That is so important. So when you're on your bike, when you're, when you're driving, when you're walking, you need to have your attention, you know, you need to be aware all the time. So what about the runner here, carry some stuff with you? Tell me what you carry with you all the time, this kind of thing. So this is not illegal, it's a, it's a paint ID spray and it's UV. So say an attacker did attack me and I could quickly spray him with UV paint, even if he attacked me and he got away and never saw him again, this paint will stay on him for a few days and he won't be able to wash it off so he's easy to to, to find identify. again to identify yeah. so what about this kind what is that and this is a tweezers which most girls have this is quite it's, special this one is it's strong it looks like military gray that means it's that you know it's good good hand it's good. not good to carry a weapon and you should never walk around with intention with a weapon but if you're ever down a dark alleyway and you feel like you're being followed and you feel like you're threatened then I would recommend having something that's not a knife, but something that might help you in a situation. So. What do you have? Uh, what what do you got in there to tell them? Is it good to carry something with them, the girl? Okay. Um, if you carry a handbag, you know, expect that to go. If if I'm going to mug you, expect that to go. Because um, what happens is you have a handbag. I'm going to try and take it off, and you try and wrestle it off, or you you know, I see you coming towards you, but I might try to swing it. You know, it's a liability. It's it's um it's not safe to it's not safe because um anything can happen now if you have keys that's another thing you know you have a keys with oh it's okay you know I lost my keys it's fine that my dress is on on one of the key rings it's great it's fine <laughs> it's not good you know what I mean so what I'd suggest is stay aware okay if you, if you are if you have one of these in your handbag for instance and you have time to pull it out great but the problem is most attacks happen when so you least expect it so yeah. I have a mini one of these which I carry around with me all the time so like if I'm in a dangerous place, I will hold this in my the spray so that I can tag someone. So you you're different because it's happened many yeah, times. Yeah, because you're so very different. Jumped. Yeah, because you're very different. You know, like anything into the into the wild, if you look pretty, people want a piece of that. Yeah. That's why she prepare. But some of people, you know, even though nobody wants you anyway, don't matter what you're gonna have. Yeah. What the hell, people will look yeah. at look at you too rough. What where are you gonna take you anyway? Mm -hmm. You know, buy your lunch, yeah. you got too much money. <laughs> take you to McDonald's, a waste of money. <laughs> so what the point? So this is where the problem. That's why you got to switch on. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you wanna? Well, you know, with um, it's like how you look and how you present yourself is very, very important. It's like um, for instance, I, I once saw this old lady with handbags and she was very, very heavy bags. I thought I need to do something. So I went over. So she didn't speak any English. I said, Can I help you? She was so scared. She gave me the bags and started screaming. And everyone's like, What are you doing? I'm like, No, I'm not mugging her. I'm, I'm really not. Mm. And then her daughter came, snatched the bags off me. I thought, Oh. My goodness. You know what I mean? So it's like um, because I may have come across as, oh, as a, hey, yeah. can, I, can I help you? Yeah. You know, it's like um, I thought maybe she didn't speak much English. I thought, can I help you? Uh, but you know, maybe for her it was like, give me bags. You know, it's uh, <laughs> but John, yeah. Doctor John, you look at look at you, man. <laughs> if somebody come along and say, can I help you? You have everything and take it. Look at you, man. It's, I mean. You look not like pretty, yeah. look, look like... My heart was in the right place. Yeah, but your body is not, though. That's a big problem. I mean, look at me. If I come with somebody and say, can I help you? Say, fuck, this guy going to rob me. Yeah. So it's, 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 it is tough because it's, people's mindset mind, is very absolutely. differently. They're changing a lot. You want to be very careful with how you come across. Um, and also, people, uh, you know, I think life experience teaches people to be different. You know, it's like, um, of course, I, I'd always err on the side of caution. Now, in her eyes, for instance, that, that elderly lady, uh, she was probably right just to give me the bags if I was mugging her, then she could get away, you know, but I wasn't <laughs> Now I'd say that with you. It's like um, anything that you buy you can always always get them 
buy it again. again. Uh, you, you know what I mean? It's like um, if it's clothes from Primark, um, no disrespect, you know, I buy my clothes from Primark. Anyway, <laughs> so if you, you know, it's like if it's clothes, uh, you know, fine, you can always get it again. You know, it's fine to, to part with that. It is always fine to part with that. It's like um, if it's money, for instance, man, you know, if it's money, for instance, it's like um, you can cancel your credit cards. You know, and, and I know when you watch all these self-defense videos, you know, it's like you pull out the credit card, you cut them, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, but here's some, here's some for the medication, you know, it's, uh, I don't like any of that because it's not realistic. What it has to be is, you know, what do you have on you that you can use immediately, you know? So I like to plan my journey from A to B, you know, it's like, even if it's a journey that I've done before, um, I like to, I like people to know where I am, so I check in as well. So it's like, you know, as soon as I get to work, it might just be, it could be your mum, you could be family or friend, you know, yeah, I just got to work, hey, how are you doing, you know? It's as simple as that, and it's so easy to do because you are, we're on our phones all the time. If we're on our phones all the time, it takes next to no time just to check in with someone. And they know, it's like, hey, I just got to the gym, yeah, I'll, I'll text you when I get home, something like that, you know? That way, someone knows where you are at least. If you don't know, if no one knows where you are and then you get taken, it's a problem. It's such a problem. Mm -hmm. And so, get a taxi home at night if it's dark. Get a taxi home at night if it's dark. Don't walk in a dark alleyway. Otherwise, your body part will be in somebody's dinner. Now, this is the big problem, you know, try to be real to people understand. A lot of time people training and don't think about preparation, understanding, know yourself, know your enemy, know your ability and know your surrounding. This is very important to understand. If you don't know yourself, you don't know what you can and cannot do. That's a big problem. You think you can, but you can't. Know your enemy. You don't know who you come across with. Everybody else is potentially your enemy. Mm. Okay? Know your ability. Can you really use that squee and shove the, what do they call them? Tweezer. Tweezers. That tweezer and poke in some people's eye. Now people some people can't do that. Mm. It's, it's not possible for you to be that able to shove that in somebody's eye. Mm. Ability to be able to do that is very important. And know your surrounding. Okay? You need to make sure where you're going, like Dr. John said, if you don't know where you're going, it's a big problem. Anything that you want to ask me below here, ask me and we're gonna be here. Fill you more some information. If you not, then make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise your enemy gonna take you and try to sell you and you may don't worth anything, but problem. Ow! Subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the bell. When I upload a video, you will get the notification straight to your mobile. Now get back to your training.